everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing what's in my colouring bag for the month of December. And as always, this is created by Colour and Chat with Sammy. Um, and I really enjoy doing these videos. Um, I have obviously been doing these for quite a while now. And I have come to the conclusion that all of the stuff that I do show, I never get all of it done. And I do explain that in my videos anyway. Um, but... Yeah, as I continue doing it, I'm going to try and be a bit more realistic about things that I am actually going to be able to get done. So I thought what I would do is kind of show the books in order of, you know, things that I've either started and need to get done, uh, or body colours that I have, you know, things that um, I really would like to try and do in the month. And then also some books that I would like to get to if, if I can. And I know I've kind of done that in the past, but... Um, the first couple that I'm going to share are ones that I'm really going to focus on, hopefully. So, you know, you will hopefully in my computer pages at least see those pictures done. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the only thing that I'm kind of finding. I don't I, I want to still do these videos because I really enjoy doing them, but I don't want to put pressure on myself to then have to stick rigidly to it. Um, there are pictures that I really wanted to do that are in my November video that I didn't get round to this month and I'm not going to bother repeating them but they are in the back of my mind as well um, you know they're ones that I would really like to do at some point and a couple of them are wintry like the mythographic ones so I could always do those over the next few months and they may feature in these videos again um, but these are the ones that I'm going to primarily focus on in December so the first thing that is a, a must and I'm going to work on it um, and hopefully send it by the end of um, December is the Travelling Ivy um, pages uh, which I have been doing these were sent to me from Yvonne and I'm just so excited to to finish this and send it to her I've mentioned this quite a while now uh, for quite a while now sorry and I finished this last month so yeah I'm very excited to do the butterfly and Hopefully I will be able to do that soon. So that's a definite priority. Then I've started a wintry picture from Die Welt under de Lupe Zilanda. And I'm definitely hoping to get this one finished because it fits in with Christmas. And also it's just an adorable page. So this is the one that I've started. So you are getting a sneak peek as well. So I'm about halfway through the outer wreath bit, I guess. Um, and I've done the snow, it's very hard to tell, but I've put white gel pen on there, I'm using black widow pencils, I've done the sky, so really once this wreath bit's done, I've only got the rabbit and the trees, um, and I'm just, I love, I love it, it's so cute, and um, you'll see I've got a couple of other Rita Berman books that ideally I'd like to work in, but I decided to go for this one, which is one that I haven't worked in for a little while since the summer, um, the most recent picture I did in it was this one and this is my second copy so all of the pages that I've done so far in this book I hadn't done in my first copy um, either so that's that's nice but I'm just loving it and I'm also trying to use some of the new colours from the dragon set as well so that dark night colour is one of my favourites and I've used that so much in the sky so yeah that's that one that's a whip that I have been working on, although I haven't coloured much over the last couple of days because I have been ridiculously busy, as always seems to be the case. But um, I was working on it last week and I'm hoping to continue with it. So the next one, which I haven't come back to for a bit, is um, Forest Girl 2. I got this on Book Depository and I believe all the other books are on there and I haven't got them at this current time. But maybe if I get a bit of Christmas money, I will get them. But um the reason I love this one so much is because of the paper and it allows me to use water media. So I started this one October maybe um, and I really do want to come back to it and finish it because it's obviously a Christmas picture so I need to get it done because otherwise I won't come back to it next year and that's ridiculous. I really really want to do it so I think the best thing to get me back into this page is to do the background with pastel and then I can start um doing all of the other elements but this is one that I would love to finish and I think with this one I might prioritize it the week before Christmas I am quite busy then but I break up a week before Christmas from college so that'll give me a bit of time um 
and I can still work on it you know around new year and I, yeah it doesn't really matter I'm not fixed on you know stopping Christmas pages when Christmas is over but I, I love this picture and it's the last page in the book as well it's just lovely and I'm using um, water brush pens and I'm watering them down I then have two body colours which I really really want to do from Fairy Celebrations the first one which is a Christmassy one and I get again I did show these um, is this one so obviously this is another priority page because it is a wintry Christmas picture and I think Effie might have finished hers already so I really really do want to want to do this uh, very excited about that I did already show this on my other video as well so I'm sure if you've seen that video you've already seen this one and the other one is with Jill and it is an autumnal page so again one that I have been meaning to do for such a long time and we did say until the end of December and I really hope that I can get it done um, but yeah I, I really like that one as well and you know we're still well, to me you know autumn winter you know we're still kind of in the the season where I think this would be great to to colour this and really with Clara's pages I colour them any time of the year anyway I mean I remember when I coloured the Halloween page this was not even close to Halloween I think I coloured this in May and it was for a hashtag actually that Effie did which is what well, was the you know the perfect reason to do it but you know I just really really want to make sure that I do the buddy colours because it um you know they're such a lot of fun and then I also have my penguins which I've neglected and um Valentina and I have been um talking about it and how we you know we want to continue with it um I haven't done any in November but I'm hoping to get back to it I know I said I wanted to do the rocks last month um but yes I didn't share it on my computer pages because I hadn't done any more so I thought it was a bit silly to to show it again but yeah this is the, the one that I'm hoping to continue with again it's got penguins so it will be perfect to to do as well over the next few months as we go into winter I'll tell you it's going to be a year before I finish this page definitely but that's all right and then so they're the ones that I want to focus on obviously I'm not expecting to necessarily get all of those done but I would really like to then I have a few more that ideally if I can I want to get to these but I probably won't so all I'm saying is don't expect to see any of these pictures completed um, in my completed pages videos but you know I'm I'm hopeful that maybe I could get at least one of these um, that I'm sharing now done. So I want to do another Clara Markova postcard. Um, as you know, I've been colouring these to uh, hopefully complete them all one day. And I just absolutely love them. Um, obviously, I will already be colouring Clara Markova this month, hopefully. So if I spend more time on the buddy colours rather than colouring these postcards that's absolutely fine with me so either way I'm going to colour some Clara Marco for this month um there are some lovely Christmas ones at the back here and I would like to do one of those and again they're wintry so some of them are clearly Christmas pictures but this one's wintry you could easily do that you know for winter my favourite winter one which wouldn't take too long is this one this fairy but that's my favourite Christmas one, I think, the tree. So, you know, I, if I don't get round to these until January or February, I probably won't do a Christmas one. I did do a Christmas one last year, actually. Oh, gosh, it was literally this time last year. And I remember being so busy preparing for my mock exams. Oh, wow, that's that's crazy. I just remember following Chris Chang's tutorial and doing a tiny bit each morning. Oh, that brings back nice memories. I mean, well, yeah, it was a very busy time, but um, so you're going to get busier. But yeah, I'm really hoping that I can can do one of these, but we'll see. Um, and then I really, really do want to work in the Ken Matsuda book because um, the lovely Joe sent it to me and I really want to do a picture in it. I mentioned the Christmassy one. Again, this could be a winter one, so I could do it for January or February time. But I'll probably make these robins. 
Um, but then there was the ladybird one as well, which I thought would be quite a good one just because it would ease me into the, the style and also it's not as detailed as some of the others. So that could possibly be the one that I start with. So, um, yeah, they're just all gorgeous. And I am intimidated by some of the really, really detailed ones. Um, so it'd be, yeah, quite good to just do one that's not so detailed. So, um, yeah, I'd love to do one in that. Um, and then these two, again, are ones that I would, in hindsight, really like to do, but I probably won't. Um, so in Minor Rise of Death Europa by Rita Berman, a page I'm planning on doing at some point is the opposing page to the one that I have completed. So I completed this last month. Again, it really fit with the November theme, you know, fall and well, autumn we say here, but um, I've kept all of the colours aside. So it, it probably will be a really good one when we go away um, to, to do because I've really got the colours figured out, I know what I'm doing. So this is kind of a standby page, so I think this could possibly be one that I at least start. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got the colours, I know what I'm doing, so that's one that I'm looking forward to doing at some point. And again, there are quite a few wintry pictures in here. I have just coloured the postcard version of that though for, um, for Rita Berman. But Again, some of these would really fit with the um, winter kind of theme that I'll have going for January and February time as well with this, you know, it's going to be rainy, cold weather, so they might be really good. So that's that one. And then the final book is also a Rita Berman book. We have My Winter Spazier Gang by Rita Berman and... When I was picking a page to do it, initially I was going to do this wreath. And then I thought, you know what, I've just done a wreath in Manorazza de Europa. I will save this one. I love this one so much. Um, and the one that I'm doing at the moment with the rabbit is kind of a wreath, but not really because it's got the whole central thing to it. So, again, I love this one with the poinsettias and I do really love wreath pictures, but... Um, if, if I somehow get everything else done, that could definitely be a possibility. Um, but again, I just love the pictures in here that are new to me because some of them weren't in the collected book like this one. Um, and there is the advent calendar in here. I have just decided not to do a colouring advent calendar this year because it's hard enough for me to keep up with just my pages. Um, let alone trying to do it day by day because sometimes I don't get to colour every day um, so I just decided not to and just focus on the the Christmas pictures that I have going at the moment so yeah that is you know another possible book but yeah that's everything that I have to share with you I'm trying to make these more concise videos as I said because sometimes I was showing like 15 20 pages and I'm not going to get them all done it's just ridiculous and then I don't want to I don't know get your hopes up I, I guess sharing what pictures I might do at the end of the month because then it is just disappointing in the in the computer pages video um it you know it is for me as well because there's so many things I want to do and you know as we always say just not enough time so yeah um I hope that you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching uh, everything will be down below as usual in the description box and yeah take care and I will see you all in my next video bye everyone